What is up, ladies and gentlemen? You've got Bowsy Bows and Z Bows coming back at you yet again. Another video. We got T10 Berserks versus those T7 guards. Let's check it out. Now, guys, we were now me and Daydreams were having a conversation here. We're like, you know, let's see what the difference is between the Berserker and the guards are. Because we are trying to emphasize the T7 guards, the strength on defense. They're just amazing. You want at least 100k of them in Castle, guys. Believe me, at least 100k. Daydream's going to send out his 50,000 T10 Berserks on a T7 guards. Let's see what happens. I'm thinking it's going to be a slaughterhouse, but let's check it out. We're going to go check out that battle report right now. Come on, baby. I did this a little while ago, so there we're going to be waiting. There we go. Look at that, guys. 4,800 are only wounded in a 50,000. 50,000. Guys, those are T10s. You've seen those big Chinese 30s, them fucking bastards, always coming and bullying you with those. Look at those. You have those guards in there. You'll at least 100, 150,000 of them. They're going to get slaughtered when they come to try to attack you. Your boys are actually going to withstand a couple attacks, other than being zeroed in one shot. I'm telling you guys, trust me on this. Guards are so much more powerful than you think they are. They are probably the most underrated troop in the game. Nobody ever trains them because they go, Oh, every time I send my swords into battle, they always get smoked. Well, guys, yes, that's what they are. They're basically... I'm gonna the best way to explain it. They're the girl at the party that just likes to take all the punishment with no lube. That's what they're meant to be. They're meant to just take all the punishment in battle. They save all your other troops, your attacking troops. They're meant for defense. So if you constantly have thirties bugging you guys, I'm telling you, build the guards. They're gonna suffer the sh the big losses. They're not going to want to attack you no more. You're going to be able to heal them. Look at that, guys. From attacking and defending. The difference, there is none from attacking and defending with the 50,000 on 50,000. Daydreams attack first. I attack second. I'm telling you guys, trust me. Train T7 guards. They are the most important unit to have in your castle at all times. I had to do this video to prove it to everybody. This is just raw proof for you all, guys. So when you get those T8s, train like 50,000 of those, you know, those uh, heavy pikes. Then when you get your halberdiers, they're meant for taking out ponies too. Train about 75,000 of them. But head right back to your guards. And if you don't have at least 100,000 of them in castle now, you better start hitting the speeder button. I'm going to need to see that speeder button a lot on all you guys. I want to see 100,000, 150,000 guards minimum in your castle. And then we'll see what those Chinese bastards do. They're going to be going home raped. You're going to smoke them down, guys. You guys see what I did to them in the ancient battlefield. I'm telling you guys, train them up. The only reason I bested those 30s in the ancient battlefield is because I had so many of them. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, we got that giveaway. Go check that out with Daydreams. You guys keep watching. I'm going to keep recording. You guys hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Laters.